Hey there guys, welcome back to the Wisdom Vault, the safest place in the Wisdom world. In today's video, I'll be going through my top five products that I wish were products. Okay, so the Warner Brothers Studios produce a wide range of Harry Potter merch that you can currently buy. However, there's certain things that should be products that just aren't. So, Noble Collection do screen accurate prop replicas and they're amazing and you can get loads of different items including the replicas of the wands. There's just other items that don't quite make it through to process. No. There's just some items that don't quite make it to the cut. There's just some items that don't quite make the cut and end up not being able to be purchased. And it's a bit of a shame with some of the other items that they haven't included that any collector would love to own. So I'm going to count down my top five products that I think should be products. So my first product is the Monster Book of Monsters. Now, you can already get one of these, but as a plush toy. The only problem with this is it's not very screen accurate. The teeth are kind of made of this kind of fabric-y paper material and bend and warp, and it, it can look quite worn very quickly. What I mean by replicas is to have it more like the books that you see. As you're going through the studio tours, there's the, um, how they made the creatures section and one of the creatures is the monster book of monsters you can actually see how they've then mechanically done it but it's more just for the outer shell so there's no voice box it doesn't move particularly it's just the casing and it'd just be something that you could put on your bookshelf and it looks just like it does in the films number four is the Educational Decree Cases. So these are the wooden cases, the display cases that Umbridge puts her Educational Decree in and hangs them above the Great Hall. These would be great because you can get the actual Educational Decrees as posters through Mina Lima, but it'd be good if you could actually then get the cases to then display them in, so you could have them as replicas that you can see in the studio tours at home, and you can hang them up properly rather than just having to have an ordinary frame to put them in. Number three. Now, this used to be a promotional item for the Prisoner of Azkaban back when it was first released, However, you can no longer, as far as I'm aware, get these. Not, I don't even think you can get them in um, Orlando, which is the sneaker scopes. Now, you hardly get to see this actually in the Prisoner of Azkaban, but in the deleted scenes, you can see Ron give Harry the sneaker scope. Oh, hang on. I almost forgot. I got you something wicked at Dervish and Banks. It's a pocket sneaker scope. If there's anyone untrustworthy around, it's meant to light up and spin and it's a small kind of, well, I'll show a picture, but it's a small device that spins when people you can't trust are nearby. And it'd just be one of those nice things that you could have with a collection of other sweets. So you could have them with Bertie Bots, Chocolate Frogs, and you could have the Sneak Scope. Number two. So the next item is a decoy detonator. Now, for those of you who don't know what these are, you'll probably recognise them when you see them. It's the distraction device that Harry uses when he is trying to sneak into Umbridge's office when the trio are breaking into the Ministry of Magic in the Deathly Hallows. This would be a great product if it was a wind-up toy, similar to the ones where um, a wind-up toy for a frog and you wind up on the side and the feet just kind of pedal along. I think would just make a, a nice addition just for like one of those kind of cheaper items that you could get at the studio tours or in the Orlando studios. 
Okay, and number one. So, this item, I'm going to carry on with the theme of kind of joke Weasley products. So, the last item is going to be Exploding Swamps. Now, these are mentioned in the books, but they are also seen in the games, but you never get to see them in the films. This is something that Fred and George create to help overrun Dolores when she's kind of taken control of Hogwarts. These are little kind of tent boxes that when activated produce a swamp in the surrounding areas that they've been released in. Okay guys, so those are my top five products that I wish were real products in the wizarding world. Now, leave a like down below or a comment just to say if you want to see more of these videos in the future. I've got a few more ideas of um, products that I wish were actual products. So if you want to see more of this in a series, then I'm happy to do more of these videos. Then make sure to hit that subscribe button up there and if you haven't already, watch the latest video by clicking here. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.